So uh, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you to join us. Uh, our AMA today, we have uh, our young guest, <laughs> um, Yakuhito, that's uh, his uh, uh, nickname. Uh, uh, he is still uh, studying in the college in the United States, uh, but he's also uh, a very uh, OG developers in, in uh, Chia ecosystem. So we know him uh, for a long time and uh, he launched the first AMM. And uh, uh, today we wanna learn something behind uh, the bad swap, okay. So anyway, um, first so, uh, Yaku, uh, could you please introduce yourself briefly uh, for some members don't know you, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. So I'm Yaku Hido, as you said. Uh, I'm, I just finished my first year at Minerva. Uh, I've been Romania's, Team Romania's captain for the European Cybersecurity Challenge in the past two years, I think. Uh, I own cybersecurity certifications such as the Offensive Security Web Expert or Offensive Security Certified Expert 3. It's kind of hard to get. Um, Chia-wise, I think I've been involved in the ecosystem for two years now. I started with some projects like Yakusap and GreenWeb. And now I'm running Fire Academy, which provides RPC services for the apps, and also Tibet Swap, which is why I'm here, the AMM for the Chia blockchain. So we know that the Tibet uh, Swap has uh, suspended uh, due to uh, uh, from the operation of the main main network due to the uh, a, a bug reported. Uh, so uh, could you please uh, introduce? that what's going on there situation, you know? Uh, yeah, so we're open source, everyone can review the code. And we've been on testnet for quite a while be before launching on my net. I think it was two weeks in total. Uh, that being said, Fispo is on Keybase, that's his handle, reported a bug, I confirm it. And we, and we decided that the most prudent way forward is to recall our liquidity to tell people to withdraw it so it's protected. That being said, the bug is very easy to fix, uh, but we are going back to Tesla now to look at everything again, just to be sure that there are no more bugs. So uh, will this uh, vulnerability uh, cause the loss of a cus uh, customer's assets? Is there any real loss? If so, uh, how to redeem it? Yeah, so the bug wasn't exploited. We are aware of it, but it was not with still any funds. Uh, for liquidity providers, there's impermanent loss, which is the theoretical difference that you'd have if you kept both assets in your wallet versus if you put them in the protocol and got them back. And because we've only been online a little over two days, that uh, liquidity providers might have suffered that, but again, the bug was not exploited to steal any part of the assets. Yeah, we uh, Hamada has put uh, the liquidity also <laughs> on the Tibet uh, swaps. Yeah. So, what exactly the functions uh, can uh, Tibet swap uh, AMM uh, provide, and uh, do you have any uh, development roadmap uh, for for the future? So right now the main function is letting people swap between Chia and tokens, which are cats, and the other way around, cats and tokens. Uh, you can also deposit liquidity to earn those trading fees, as you know. Uh, at the moment, the focus is on security. There was a bug, so we don't want to have another one. We are making sure that it's at, it's the uh, likely possible to have another one. 
Um, the midterm roadmap Im includes improving everything, the experience from analytics to the main web UI. A lot of people tested it, so we identified some points that we could improve. And of course, in the long term, we are also considering launching another version of the BetSwap that has better or more functionalities. So um, as we know that uh, the AMM, uh, especially the, the pools, uh, it's, uh, um, if successful, it will be a big money in, inside. So uh, how to in, uh, uh, ensure the security of uh, Tibet Swap and uh, uh, what uh, risks um, should the investors uh, who take part in the uh, liquidity uh, should be uh, aware of? So, as I said, we are open source. Anyone can verify the code. And we're using this event to take a step back. We are going back to testnet. And this time, we're going to announce a bug bounty program. More details will be available on Monday, my time. So it's Tuesday for you, most likely. Um, safety is going to be our collective effort and is going to involve the other Chia community. Now, regarding risks, there are two main ones. First, uh, there are, there's the security aspect, as you probably already know. Uh, second, there's impermanent loss, which I described above, the thing with what you could have had if you kept the assets in your wallet and what you have now. Um, but this is a problem with all AMMs, including big ones like Uniswap. And it's mostly overcome by swap fees most of the time. And here, Tibet has a very large fee compared to Uniswap. We have 0.7% compared to 0.3. So do you conduct uh, the code review, uh, the sensor by yourself, or entrust a third party? Uh, will it include uh, CNI? Tier official? So I wrote the code myself and then conducted reviews as you'd expect. But I also asked a lot of other people to look over it. And I'm very thankful that they did. Um, again, we are kind of leveraging this combination of open source with the bug bounty that we're going to uh, announce next week. And we help, I'm, I mean, we know that it's a very powerful tool and we're waiting to see the results. How, how many people are, are there in your uh, development team? Can you tell us about them? So until now it's been a personal project, only me, but we are now preparing to form a team. Uh, and as you know, from the projects, my page, there are a lot of contributors which are not quite in the team, but they've helped a lot. And this includes at least two people from the team. So uh, if you wanna uh, consist a, a team, so is there any revenue plan? Uh, will you apply for the uh, grant funding? Uh, and how do you ensure the uh, team could uh, continue to, 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 to operate in the long term without the interruption? So the focus right now is to make the bed swap as good as it can be. So we want to improve it. Uh, once we're in a position where we see a lot of trade volume coming to Tibet, then we are going to choose the appropriate revenue model. Right now, I'm thinking of everything from grants or having a developer fee that's optional to even issuing a token. Um, about your second question, uh, operating long term, I see building on Chia as a passion rather than a job. I work more than 50 months on Chia, 15, sorry. I work more than 50 months because I really believe in what, in what they represent and I believe they have a huge potential for the Chia community. 
Uh, is there any plan uh, for you to issue your own coins? <laughs> so right now I'm considering this as an so, option. Right now I'm considering but this as an Chia option. Is a compiled but blockchain Chia is and there's a, a very complex blockchain and there's a very complex context associated with legal it. Because context you have associated to with account it because you the have laws take of every part of the globe. The laws of so every part of the globe. So since we are here for the long term, so doing things the right the long way term is priority. Doing things the right way is priority. So what are the wallets uh, can be uh, can access the uh, Tibetan swap? So with this version of the website, you are only asked for an offer. So you can use any wallet that supports the offer file which is which is at least the official chia wallet how about the extension uh, uh, based uh, wallet like a gobby or uh, you know hockey something like that i am not sure yet how they generate the offers if it's the new offer format they 100 work if it's the old one then people would get an error when they send the offer. So currently uh, there is a, a competitive product on the market also. Uh, everybody knows uh, uh, hash screen and they already uh, on the test net for testing. Um, how, 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 how do you talk, uh, feel about the competition issues? So, I can't so, really say I can't lot really about say a lot has about swap has been swap because they are not they are not open source. Uh, I know uh, that they have I know that a they way have better presence a way in better community, presence in and that's why I'm very grateful that's why I'm very grateful to be here today, here today be able and to present my work. Be able to present my work. Um, um, I'm very proud. I'm very of proud what of what we what we that swap with, and that I really swap. think it's and I really think it's a step forward for the having an AMM having an AMM. Everything. Everything, all the code is all the open code source, is open and source, anyone can look and over anyone it. can look over it. We are focused we are on sharing maximum on transparency. Sharing maximum so transparency. if you have any questions, so if you have any reach questions, out and just reach I'll out answer them. I'll answer them. Uh, with this being uh, said, with this it, being said, I think it's it, up for the community up for the community to make the final choice. To make the final choice. Uh, we know you are still studying a college. Uh, uh, could you please tell us something about your study and? Uh, Will you drop off the school to start a, a business in the in the future? As we know, you have a a, a Tibetan swap already. So, so <laughs> my studies are going. My studies are going well. Thank you well, for thank asking. you for asking. I'm I'm currently double currently majoring double in majoring business in and business computer and science. Computer science. Uh, uh, my studies have my studies have proven, proven, proven me helpful, me help so far so far. If I have, if I have, to if choose, I want, if I want power to drop out a moment, at a moment, my choice, I my choice, will, I think, depend heavily, depend on heavily the contact, the contact, which I can't really, which I can't predict, really right predict right now. So, as a long-term uh, developer, uh, please share your point of view on Chia blockchain or uh, Chia network. How how could we? get more uh, developers uh, involved into uh, cheer exorcism. So uh, I think the main problem is difficulty and thankfully it's slowly getting easier for people to come to the cheer ecosystem. When I started, I had to read the code and figure stuff out on my own because there was no documentation. Uh, now, Chia, the company, is even releasing nice videos on YouTube. There are also more and more people in the ecosystem that are releasing their code, and that helps because there are more examples to learn from. Uh, I think we'll also see more value going through apps because you have things like AMMs, which allow people on Chia to invest trustlessly uh, Chia and Cats to, and we also have the upcoming Ethereum bridge, which will let Chia, which will add value to the system this way. Um, now I've been developing on Chia for about two years and I'm still here because I believe in the blockchain's mission. 
I see a lot of potential in it. And yeah, I, I'm happy to play a small part in it. Uh, so, um, uh, Yaku, it's, uh, you know, the holiday uh, of China uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, you know, May 1st. So um, many people go out uh, for vacation uh, with family. Uh, that's why we don't have so many people here. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, now it's time to open to everybody online. If uh, you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to to uh, to ask. Yeah, we have an update that uh, Gobi will support. Gobi should work with uh, Tibetan Swap very soon. I uh, guess so. I think he's already working on it. That's what I mean. Uh, uh, Gobi is uh, there. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let me just wish you a nice holiday, if that's appropriate. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I, I didn't aware that. Uh, I, I don't have a holiday myself. <laughs> it's too many people outside in uh, on the road. Yeah, it's a traffic jam everywhere. Uh, Dimitri, you have any questions? Uh, no, 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 I have no question. I just want to make some, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I just want to say you are not playing a small role in this ecosystem. You mean a lot to us, or uh, so I, I wish you the best, the best. And so now, uh, Tap Drop doesn't uh, support the Gobi, however, in the future, uh, I uh. Um, I, I'm, I'm working on a new chip, so I, I'm very busy recently. So uh, after that, I can uh, submit a PR for, for Tibet Swap. Uh, uh, if at that moment you, you still have, haven't it included, uh, I will <laughs> submit a PR. Uh, yeah, that's all. And Citizens Home is one of the OG tests test in uh, Tibet Swap. Now he he's also online, but he, he's driving on the road. Oh, wow. Uh, I just wanted to take this opportunity. Thank you so much, Dimitri, for your words and also your help with Tibet. And Dimitri and Season's home have been of extreme help throughout the journey. Season's home, excellent testing. I think, I think the reason our mainnet launch works so well is because of their testing. So thank you. We call we call him a Terminator <laughs> for testing. <laughs> He's uh, the troublemaker for everyone. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, oh. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, have you ever decided what kind of like uh, coins or cats? What kind of cats are you gonna put onto your tablet swap? Uh, is there any like uh, specific uh, need like uh, like uh, auction? Uh, no, 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 no. Is, is there any any anything you gonna like look over before you put a, put a coin put the, the the cat onto your specific cat onto your swap? Yeah, so it's decentralized, so you can have a token. When we launched the first time, I looked at the trade volume and I listed the tokens with the most. And then I responded to requests, like for example, Hemadao asked me to ask the, to list their token. I deployed the pair, they could do the same, but it was simpler if I did it so they didn't have to install the, the retooling. And we had it on Tibetshop. And then on to get verified on the website. If you are not verified, there will be a warning displayed that this token hasn't been verified. Well, for that, I just need to know you and to know there's someone behind the token. It's not a complete. Uh, is your AMM uh, similar to, uh, did you, uh, uh, is your AMM, the, the way you, you, you establish your AMM, is it similar to hash query? 
So again, I can't read their code, so I'm not really sure. Played with the site a little bit, and I really can't say because they only support Hoogie Wallet while we support offers. So I really don't have an answer for that question, unfortunately. I don't know. Hmm. So how how uh, how will you uh, verify that uh, the uh, it's a scam or it's a real project? Yeah. What's the difference between the Ethereum and the Chia Bridge to uh, compared to uh, Type Swap? So the Ethereum Bridge will let you get tokens from Ethereum to Chia, and then you're getting a new token on the Chia blockchain. But you can't convert, for example, Ethereum to Chia. You are, go you are going to put Ethereum on one side and get trapped Ethereum on the other. So in this way, they work together because you can bring Ethereum via the Ethereum bridge and then swap it to uh, Chia using Tibet swap or another AMM. Okay, so 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 on the hash screen test net, there's a specific uh, uh, functionality. Basically, uh, when you like, let's just give an example of H XH and who to work HDT, which is the Hamadoc token. So right this uh, moment, if you use uh, Tabit, you have to you have both coins. On hash screen, you know, all you need to do is to put in XH. It's gonna automatically swap it into into HDT for you. Do you think that's something that we we gonna do in the future, uh, since this is called Zap, right? Yeah, Zap. Zap. Yeah, the, the functionality called it called, it's called Zap. So again, I can't say it a lot about hashgrain because I I'm not sure what they are doing. But from my knowledge of AMMs, having such a functionality with low liquidity is pretty unsafe because what's actually going on in the background is you are changing half of what you're putting in to the token. For, for example, if you offer Chia and then depositing it, it as liquidity. So if there are not a lot of, there's not a lot of liquidity already in the pair, then the price is going to shift and you're not going to provide liquidity at a good price. So right now I don't, uh, right now Zap is not on the roadmap for us because I'm not really sure it's safe. Do you have any uh, uh, future plan on the usage of NFT? For example, like if you have an NFT in, in, in a specific wallet with, uh, with some tokens, you can have a, a lower like, like fees or something for this as a privilege. Uh, honestly, I haven't thought of it. It's not in this version, but there's nothing not being considered for the future versions. Yeah, for some uh, NFT, uh, we have uh, some uh, public uh, value. Uh, for example, uh, chair friend or <laughs> or God of Crypto, you, you know, um, uh, because uh, everybody knows the, the value of it. So they could use it as um, something like uh, staking or something. 大家还有什么问题？尽管问啊。Actually, Actually, I have one question. Um, when we come across another bug or exploit, is it possible for Tabit Script Swap to offer migration button instead of withdrawing, uh, requiring users to withdraw their liquidity by themselves? Uh, what, what do you think? Uh, so sorry. Uh, like, like you... <laughs> yeah. Could you please repeat uh, the uh, question? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, is it possible for Tablet Square uh, Swap to offer migration button uh, instead of requiring the users to withdraw their liquidity by themselves? Uh, like, like uh, you can offer a button to uh, make, migrate their uh, current LP token into the new version LP token to avoid the Fund loss. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason it was not possible in this case, and I don't think it will be possible uh, if there is another case, is because we are truly decentralized. Once I launch Tibet swap, I can't 
I don't have any more privileged other users. I can't withdraw their funds for them or migrate them. Uh, they are the only ones in control. I mean, the users can uh, can click the migrate button. Uh, let, let's imagine a scenario uh, like uh, a user can click the button, uh, then they uh, then he can swap the current LP token for another uh, new vision LP token. Uh, he, at that moment, he has a new um, perc uh, percent of the 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 new uh, the a fixed uh, table table swap uh, LP pool. Yeah, I'm, I mean, do you understand? Oh. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's totally possible because as long as they have the tokens, you can take care of it in the yeah, background. Yeah, you uh, can withdraw yeah, from, yeah, switch it to you. the new version. Yeah, yeah, for you, just uh, provide some offers. I mean, uh, let them swap, right? Yeah, they, they'll still have to make the offer, but you can handle that in the background. It's just a matter of working on the UI and on the driver code a little bit more. Uh, don't... So as we know that, uh... Currently, that some of the tech cat token can be traded on the second hand, uh, second market. Uh, are you planning to give provide any uh, staking uh, functionalities for the, those tokens in the future? If we are going to issue our own tokens, then probably staking will be provided. But again, that's not yet sure. What I can say is that you'd expect us and X to be competitive, but I actually didn't. I actually don't think so. They listed our tokens, so people knew what they were trading, and we are also sending them accepted offers so they can parse the trade and display it in the recent history. And in the future, I see us collaborating on arbitraging and setting the price between Dexy and Tibet Swap. Thank you very much, uh, Jakob, uh, to join us and uh, share your experience um, and uh, the, the, the point of view. Uh, and uh, we, we want to send you a gift, okay? <laughs> um, Thank you very uh, we much. will send you a, a God of Crypto NFT as a gift. Uh, <laughs> just uh, DM me your uh, address, okay? And uh, that's um, we really hope as a young young uh, student, uh, we really hope you could uh, uh, successful uh, both in your studying and uh, the the developer career in in Chia. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Hello. So thank you, everyone, and I hope you have a. Happy weekend and a happy Labor Day. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye bye.